All right, this is our second grade math, lesson 3-5. We're still working on continuing to break apart numbers to add. So we're gonna take a look at different ways we can, we can add things together. So Josh has 34 cans to recycle. Jill has 27 cans. How many cans do they have in all? So we know we're gonna be adding them together. So it says solve any way you choose. So down here at the bottom, I know I've got 34 cans plus 27 cans, and I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it. So I'm actually gonna draw some pictures. For 34, I'm gonna go 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. I'm just gonna draw it. And for 27, I'm gonna do 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And then I'm gonna add them together. So let's see, I'm gonna try and see if I have enough of these ones to bundle into a group of 10, because this, the lines represent 10. So let's see, I have seven, eight, nine, 10. So watch what I can do. I can take these and these, and that is equal to 10. And then I have one little one left over, so let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Our new one, 60 plus one is 61. So we have 61 cans, okay? So that's just one way. You might have some other ways that you wanna do it, but this is one way I'm gonna do it where I can kind of draw it out so that I can see it a little bit better. And again, I always wanna put my, ten, or my ones in the bundle of tens first. All right. So we have 37 plus 25. You can break apart just the second add-in into tens and ones. So right here we have 37. So we can leave 37 and 25 can be broken into 20 plus five. So 20 is two groups of 10. So we're looking for two groups of 10. Then add the tens of the second addend, so 37 plus 20 equals 57. Then add the ones of the second addend. Remember the second addend was five, so 57 plus five equals 62. So 27 plus 35 equals 62. All right, do you understand? Show me. Now this sounds really tricky, but I know you're gonna get it quickly. So we're just gonna keep practicing until we're able to understand it really well. All right, explain how you can break apart 28 to find 33 and 28. So 33, we're not gonna break apart, but 28 we are. 28, I'm gonna break up into 20 plus eight. And then what I can do is do 33 plus 20, 33, 43, 53. So 53 plus eight, is going to be 61, okay? So we're just gonna look at some other ways that we can find some shortcuts to think in our head to do some math. So guided practice says break apart the second addend, the second number, to find the sum, show your work, use blocks to help if needed, okay? Blocks, we can just do our pictures with the dots if we want to. So we have 57, that's our first add-end, our first number. We're breaking apart the second add-end, our second number. So we're gonna break 32 into 30 plus two. So we're gonna just drop this straight down. 57 plus 30, 57, and it's three groups of 10. So I can do 57, 67, 77, 87 equals 87. And then we still need to add this two over here. So we're gonna bring our 87 down here, 87 plus two, 87, 88, 89 equals 89. And now I know this is a lot of adding, okay? Let's do this again. 24 is just gonna be exactly the same. It's gonna be 24. And 13, we're gonna break up into 10 plus three, all right? Then we're gonna add it together. We're gonna add the first two together, our groups together with 10. So 24 plus 10 is 34 plus three, 34, 35, 36, 37, 37. And I can see right here, the four plus three is gonna be equal to 
V37. Oh, I should write up here, 89 and 37, just so that we have it up there for our reference. All right, our next page is our independent practice page. And I know you guys are all experts on this. You're gonna do this page all by yourself, and then you're gonna come back and check the video and check your answers. Number sense might be a little bit tricky, so maybe do numbers three through eight and then check your answers and do number sense with me. All right, so break apart the second add-end. Remember, the second add-end is just the second number to find the sum. Show your work, use blocks if needed. So 42 is gonna stay just the same, 42. 16 is gonna break apart into 10 plus six. So first of all, we're gonna add 42 plus 10. 42 plus 10 is 52 plus six. So we got 52 and 52 plus six. And I can look here, two plus six, I know is gonna equal eight. So it's gonna be 58. Okay, the next one, I'm gonna draw some pictures because it might help out a little bit. So we'll come up with a different strategy. 36 is gonna stay the same. The second add end is gonna break its 44, so it's gonna break up into 40 plus four, okay? So now we have 36, I'm gonna do 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, plus 40, 10, 20, 30, 40, one, two, three, four. All right, now let's see if we have enough ones to make a bundle of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Look at that, we did it. So I'm actually gonna cross those all out and just draw another line, boop. Now let's count them. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So our answer there is 80. Again, it's just a different strategy. Okay, let's do that same strategy again, 41. And then 37, we're gonna break into 30 and seven. So I'm gonna do my 41, 10, 20, 30, 41, and then 30. 10, 20, 30, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I have seven ones plus one one. Seven plus one I know is eight in the ones place. Now let's count our tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So it's gonna be 78 is our sum. All right, let's take a look at this one. I'm gonna break this one apart. 35, we're gonna keep the same, and we're gonna break this into 40 plus seven. So I'm first of all gonna do my groups of 10. 35 plus 40 equals. Now what I can do is look at the numbers in the ones place first. Zero plus five is five, and four plus three is seven. Now I still have seven more, so 75 plus seven more. 5 plus 7 is 12. We have to regroup, which we haven't learned yet in a full lesson, but we can take a look at it here. In our ones place, we can only have one digit, and I can't write 12 for the ones place. There's not enough room. So we take the 2 from the ones place, and we move a bundle of 10 up here. So 1 plus 7 is 8 or 82, okay? Okay. All right, let's take a look at this one here. 32 plus 28. I'm gonna draw it just like this one. 32, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, plus 28. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. All right, so let's see if we can make a bundle of 10 with our ones. I know I've got eight, nine, 10. I sure can, so look at this. I'm gonna circle all of these and that's gonna represent another bundle of 10. So let's count our bundles of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So we know that's gonna equal 60. Then let's take a look at this one, 48 plus 27. Let's do 48, one, two, three, four, 10, 20, 30, 40, and then eight dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus 27, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. All right, now let's see if we have enough 
of these ones dots to make a group of 10. I know I have seven, eight, nine, 10. So I'm gonna put this together. That's gonna be my bundle of 10, okay? So, and then I have one, two, three, four, five left over. So let's count how many groups of 10 we have first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven groups of 10 and one, two, three, four, five ones. Because remember, in our place value chart, we have ones, then tens. So our answer is gonna be 75. All right, our number sense. Write the digit that makes the equation true. There's a couple of these that are gonna be very, very tricky. So we have to figure it out. Okay, something plus eight, we're doing the ones place, equals four. Hmm. Well, that's not gonna make sense because eight is bigger than four. So we actually know that's gotta be 14, okay? So I know that six plus eight equals 14. And we have to add, because take a look at the tens place. We have three plus five is eight, plus one more is nine. So that one is very tricky because we have to regroup them. We have to put them into different bundles. So that was a very tricky one. Let's take a look at this one. Two plus four is seven. Nope. So we know we're going to have to rebundle. So let's take a look at our numbers in the ones place. Eight plus what is going to equal something with a five. So I know that eight plus seven will equal a five in the ones place because it's 15. And that gives us our extra plus one over here. So we have two tens plus four tens is six tens plus one more 10 is seven tens. And again, this is tricky, very tricky, but you guys uh, will we'll keep practicing and it will become easier. All right, let's take a look at this one. Something plus three equals one. Huh, well, that's gonna be crazy. So we're gonna think about Numbers that we can add together that might equal 11. So I know that eight plus three equals 11. One plus four is five, plus one more is six. So we're having to regroup them. All right, let's take a look at our last one here. Three plus something equals two. Well, I know here we've got five plus two should be seven, but really it's coming up as eight. So I know I'm gonna have an extra group and have to regroup. So I know three plus nine is going to be 12, which is gonna regroup that five plus two equals seven to one more to make it into an eight. So again, we're just introducing this right now. We'll get to it so it'll be a little bit easier and we'll have full lessons on it. But we want you to take a look at why sometimes we have to regroup those, if we have more than 10 ones, we have to regroup it and move it to the next place value. All right, let's take a look at this. Math practices and problem solving. Break apart numbers to solve each problem. Show your work. Use blocks if needed. Amir planted 35 trees. Juan planted 27 trees. How many trees did they plant in all? So we know we're gonna be adding. So again, you can do it however you'd like. I've got 35 plus 27. I'm gonna draw it. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 27. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now let's see if we have enough of these dots to bundle them into a group of 10. So I have seven, eight, nine, 10. Yep, I'm gonna take three from here and add it together, and that's another group of 10. So let's count our group of 10 first. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62. So 62 trees are how many trees they planted in all. All right, let's take a look at this one. Carmen has 18 pennies. Patrick has 12 more pennies than Carmen. Does he have 12 pennies? Nope, he has 12 more than Carmen. So I'm actually gonna do this. Carmen equals 18 pennies. Patrick equals Carmen plus 12. And Carmen has 18, so I know that's, that's gonna be 18 
plus 12. So let's go ahead and figure out what that is. 18 plus 12. Now I can break this apart into 10 plus 8 and 10 plus 2. I know 10 plus 10 is 20 and 8 plus 2 is 10 and 20 plus 10 equals 30. So we have a total of 30 pennies. Okay, let's take a look at our higher order thinking. This one's gonna be a little bit tricky for us. We have to figure out which cards, the colored cards we can put to make the equation true. So let's take a look, it says use the numbers on the cards. Use each number once to write a true equation. 50 something plus something ending in four ones equals something with a six. So let's play, play around with some numbers, okay? So I know we've got something with a six here and something with an eight that we need to try and figure out what the numbers are. I'm gonna play around, I'm gonna take the two here. 52, because watch, two plus uh, four equals six, okay? So our ones place works. Now let's try to figure out what we can do here. I have a five here. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Five plus three. Five plus three equals eight in the tens place. All right. Here's our assessment. Okay. Which has a sum of 67? Choose all that applies. So we actually have to add every single one of these and see which one has 67. Okay. So... 15 plus 52. I can stack them. I can go 15 plus 52. And I can stack it. 5 plus 2 equals 7. 1 plus 5 is 6. So that has a sum of 67. Another strategy. Well, look at this. 15 plus 62. Uh, I know 15 plus 52 equals 67. Can 15 plus 62 equals equal 67? No, it's 10 more. So I don't even have to do the math on that. I know that one's wrong. Let's see, 38 plus 29. Let's see, I'm going to draw it out. 38, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, plus 29. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So let's see if we can make a bundle of 10. I have nine and I'm going to take one from over here. Okay, so this now becomes a bundle of 10. So let's count our 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Don't forget our new one, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. <gasps> it equals 67. And then let's take a look at this last one here. 11 plus 55. I'm running out of room, so I'm going to come over here. 11 plus 55. So let's see, 55, one, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, plus 11, 10, 11. So let's see, I don't have enough. I only have six ones, so I can't make a bundle of 10. So let's start with our 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. Nope. That one won't equal 67, it's 66. Great job, everybody.